In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the centroid between two curves. The question reads, find the centroid of the area bounded by the parabola y squared is equal to 4x, the x-axis, and the line x is equal to 1. An illustration of this function is shown right here. And notice that we are trying to find the centroid for this shape that is formed. To do this, we'll need to use the following two formulas where we have the horizontal distance of the centroid defined by this equation and the vertical distance defined by this equation. Both of these formulas have the variable a. a represents the area. So that's the first thing we have to do. We have to find the area bounded between 0 and 1 for the function with respect to x. So the area formula is the following, the integral between 0 and 1 for the function y is equal to the square root of 4x. Notice that I solved for y here and I ended up with the following and we can reduce this down further to plus minus 2 times the square root of x. We'll only take into account the positive 2 because it is between the x-axis which is this and the functions in the first quadrant so it's only the positive version. So I'll highlight that and I'm going to find the area now between 0 and 1, I'll pull out this 2, where we get area is equal to 2 times the integral between 0 and 1. And I'll find the antiderivative of x square rooted next. That's not hard to do. We write it out as an exponent. And then we add 1, take the sum of this, which is 3 over 2, and divide it by that. That gives us 2x to the power of 1.5, or 3 over 2 over 3. Therefore, my area is equal to 2 times this expression that we just found, 2 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2. Now we will evaluate this when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 0. If we substitute 1 into here, we end up with 4 over 3 minus, and if we substitute 0 into here, we end up with 0. So our area is 4 over 3 units squared. Now what we can do is use the following two formulas. I know what my a is, I can tell what my a and b are. The a and the b represent the lower and upper bounds along the x-axis. y2 represents my upper curve and y1 represents my lower curve. In our case here, the upper curve is positive 2 times the square root of x and the lower curve is 0. Because if you draw a horizontal line along the x-axis, that gives you y is equal to 0. And similarly, a represents the same thing here between 0 and 1. We'll add 0 to this function, y1 plus y2. And similarly, I'll take my function here and subtract it from 0 again. Let's go ahead and do that. So x bar, the x coordinate of the centroid, is equal to 1 over my area, 4 over 3, times the integral between 0 and 1 x from the formula itself and we had y2 minus y1 dx. I said my y2 was the upper function so y2 is equal to 2 times the square root of x and y1 is 0 because of the x-axis and we'll substitute these values this becomes 3 over 4 the integral between 0 and 1, x times 2 times the square root of x minus 0 dx. I can pull out this 2. That gives me 6 over 4. And the integral now of x times the square root of x. What I'll do is use the laws of exponents to add these up. So this has an exponent of 1 and this has an exponent of half. Adding up the two numbers, we end up with x to the power of 1.5. Add 1, divide by the sum, which is 2.5. Now that I found the integral, I'll place it right here. We end up with x to the power of 2.5 over 2.5, when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 0. Substituting 1 into here, we end up with simply 1 over 2.5 and if I substitute 0 into here I end up with 0. So I have 6 over 4 times 1 over 2.5 using my calculator. 
6 over 4 times 1 over 2.5 gives me 3 over 5. That is the x-coordinate of my centroid. I have to do the exact same thing now to find the y-coordinate, but of course using the other formula. That formula was y bar is equal to 1 over 2 times the area, which is 4 over 3, times the integral between 0 and 1. And that formula was y1 plus y2. So we have 0 plus this function, which is 2 times the square root of x, multiplied by y2 minus y1. y2 is this, and y1 is 0. Let's see what happens. This cleans up into 1 over 8 over 3, or in other words, 3 over 8, times the integral between 0 and 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Pull that out. The square root of x times the square root of x is simply x dx. Easy now. This becomes x to the power of 2 over 2, when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. These multiply to 12 over 8. x at 1 is 1 over 2. x at 0 is 0. So we have half times 12 over 8. That gives me 12 over 16, which is 3 over 4. Therefore, my centroid lies at 3 over 5 and 3 over 4. Let's see where that lies. That would be 3 fifths of the way here and 3 quarters of the way up. So somewhere here. And there you have it. That is how to find the centroid between two curves. Make sure to watch question two for another example.